A firefighter from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is at MD Anderson in Houston battling a rare form of cancer. His treatments now include getting blood transfusions every day. But his specific blood type is rare, and his family says when the hospital was running low on supply, Houston came through. Fox 26's Natalie He has the story. Well, I spoke with that man's father today. He tells me that this has been a really difficult Mother's Day for their family. But he says they're incredibly grateful for the outpouring of support from the Houston community. It's a tough Mother's Day for sure. But, uh, you know, he's blessed. He's got his wife and his babies here with him. It's not the Mother's Day any new parent expects. But for Jim Mosby's son, 25-year-old Harrison Mosby, it's a battle this firefighter from Tulsa has been fighting since April of last year. Less than two weeks ago, Harrison and his wife welcomed their second daughter. While he was there at the hospital with his wife and she was delivering the baby, a few hours later, he had to go to a hospital, a different hospital in Tulsa, to get a transfusion at that time. He was diagnosed 14 months ago with epithelioid sarcoma, and it's a, it's a rare form of sarcoma that affects the soft tissue. The rare and often aggressive type of cancer has required Harrison to get treatment ranging from chemo to immunotherapy. Last September, he had a biopsy on his shoulder, and the incision has had issues healing. Due to the treatment of the chemo, that incision has just opened up. It's about three inches by one inch, and uh, due to that opening, he's just started having quite a bit of bleeding. Jim says the bleeding hasn't stopped since. In fact, it's bled so much, Harrison's now having blood transfusions 12 to 18 hours a day. With rare O-negative type blood, donors were hard to find, or so they thought. When the hospital initially had a low blood supply, a call to action from the online community came back with overwhelming support. They had an insane amount of response to that, probably so much so that they were getting overwhelmed with that. And they've got appointments booked for a while. Jim says doctors are now working around the clock to get Harrison's bleeding under control. Until then, his chemo treatments are being put on pause. And without the chemotherapy right now, it's that cancer is just kind of doing what it wants to do. It's going unchecked. Now, if you'd like to help out with Harrison's battle against cancer, you can head to our website, fox26houston.com, for more information. From downtown, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.